Now that we know how the peregrine population was restored, let's look at a specific site that helped with the restoration. The Pioneer Valley region of Massachusetts was part of the early efforts to restore the peregrine falcon population. Between 1976 and 1979, Mount Tom was one of the first release sites for captive bred peregrine falcons from the Peregrine Fund. In 1988, Richard Nathorst, research and facilities manager at UMass Amherst, was contacted by Dr. Kurt Griffin from UMass Wildlife and Tom French from Mass Wildlife about an opportunity to set up a hack site at the university. Nathorst persuaded the university to agree since having peregrine falcons around would eliminate the need for UMass Amherst to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars each year to clean up the large pigeon population on campus. A nest site was set up at the Lincoln Campus Center and then biology graduate students Kate Doyle 90, G97, and Catherine Cripp 90, G97, raised five peregrine fund ships with minimal contact until they fledged. Ten years later, in 1998, Chris Davis of New England Falconry and David Ziomek of Hampshire College's Hitchcock Center for the Environment built the nest box and gave it to Nathorst, who installed it on top of the W.E.B. Du Bois Library. That year, an adult peregrine falcon was seen flying in and out of it. The following year, a pair of falcons were seen bringing prey back to the box, and in 2001, eggshells were found in the box. In 2003, the first chick was seen to fledge from the site, and more chicks followed almost every year afterwards. Since 2012, the libraries have been installing a camera by the nest box so that nesting seasons could be live-streamed to the public. A year later, the Falcons even joined Twitter. You can follow them at Du Bois Falcons for updates, photos, and even exchanges with their pen pals at UC Berkeley in California. That's right. In 2016, a pair of Falcons started nesting at the Campanile at UC Berkeley. A temporary nest box was installed for them in 2017, followed by a permanent box in 2018, and a live stream camera set up in 2019 to capture the development of two male chicks, Carson and Cade, named after Rachel Carson and Tom Cade. At the urging of Lauren Weiss, associate editor of digital content at UMass Amherst, who manages the Falcon social media, UC Berkeley scientists started their own Falcon Twitter account that same year, and the Falcons have been communicating ever since.